Some teachers will be familiar with Barrick Rosenshine's brilliant piece of research, The 17 Principles of Effective Instruction. But how many of you know about The 7 Principles of Good Feedback by Nickel and McFarlane Dick in 2007? Here they are. Clarify what a good performance is, so what a good one looks like. Facilitate self-assessment, so thumbs up, thumbs down. Deliver high quality feedback. Have you thought about X? Um, encourage teacher and peer dialogue. So think pair share is a perfect example. Positive motivation. Uh, a good example would be to ask uh, solution type focus questions. Um, have you thought about A instead of B? Why did you choose one instead of two, etc.? Where most teachers spend their time and efforts is the interventions in the lesson as well as planning behind the scenes. All of this is used as a feedback loop in the moment or after the lesson. So seven principles, I'd argue you could squash two, three, four and five into one. So potentially four very good principles for effective feedback and probably also a very good teaching and learning policy.